may be nothing, but I've heard that things are not right in the West. <laughs> I backstab it! Good call. Bards suck. <laughs> so, how much experience do I get for the bard? Ten years ago, we shot our first high definition feature film, The Gamer's Darkness Rising. Now, we shot on high definition because at the time, we felt it would open doors we otherwise wouldn't have access to. And it did. We got distribution. We got onto Netflix. Over 120,000 ratings on Netflix. We were blown away. But since then, well, we shot it on high definition and it's only ever existed on DVD. Standard definition. You guys haven't even seen this movie in its full high definition glory. But what is this movie? The Gamer's Darkness Rising. Guys? This is the movie that tabletop gamers use to show others what it's like to play role-playing games. And while we tried to make a film that would have a wider audience appeal, we really made a film that we ourselves wanted to see. Scott, what, what are you wearing right now? I'm wearing the Flynn costume. I can see that. Why are we in the Flynn costume? Because you told me to go all out, so I'm all out. <laughs> all right. I thought well, more of a... most kind of, of me's all out. Oh, wow. you you got to be cold in yeah, there. Yeah, you get a jacket, I get tights. Cold. Awesome. It had everything we loved in it. And we were really humbled to find out what it meant to the fans out there. Yeah, and uh, some of them were gracious enough to send us in some video clip testimonials and take a look at them now. This is actually one of the first times I've seen a movie where it was made by people like me and made for people like me. Darkness Rising, uh, to me, was one of the first movies I've ever seen that I could kind of relate to when it comes to um, being a gamer. I've adored The Gamer's Darkness Rising since the first time I saw it many, many, many years ago. It gave me the push that I needed to realize that I could be a woman existing in a male-dominated space such as tabletop gaming. Darkness Rising means to me an honest look at geek culture, warts and all. You can find bits and pieces of, of geek culture scattered throughout the entire thing that, you know, relate to everyone. Without uh, Darkness Rising, I uh, probably wouldn't have met all of the wonderful people from Dead Gentlemen and Zombie Orpheus Entertainment, as well as the fan base, uh, and uh, my life would just be a little bit more dull. It was a continuation and an evolution from the first The Gamers movie that we saw. We'd never seen, really seen movies like this before. We'd seen, you know, obviously high fantasy movies and, and whatnot, but we had never seen it told from the perspective of tabletop gamers like us. Our geeks aren't stereotypes, they're just regular people gaming. A few of them are out there, some of them are way out there. It's authentic, it's hilarious. I think Darkness Rising is one of those pivotal movies when it comes to um, this new chic geek uh, trend. It's my go-to movie if uh, you know I'm feeling a little down. It is a fantastic piece of cinema. Without having seen Darkness Rising, I certainly wouldn't be currently trudging through the murky waters of video game development, especially in the current social climate. I just wanted to say thank you guys and gals, you guys changed my life. Just wanted to take a uh, minute out of my incredibly busy day to stop and let you guys know. Thanks. Way out there. This is the definitive version of this movie. And we want to make the best Blu-ray possible, so how kick-ass that is largely depends on your support. Scott, why don't you tell the nice folks at home about the stretch goals we have planned? Um, I don't know anything about stretch goals. Oh wait, I do. Bardic knowledge. The initial goal of $13,000 brings you this movie on Blu-ray in 1080p. It's going to be a single layer disc with a few subtitles, a couple commentaries, and a trailer. And it's going to be the best version of this movie, period, bar none, end of story, through all of recorded time. Uh, but if we hit the first stretch goal of oh. $21,000... Tell me about that one. Motherload, baby. Dual layer. 
Blu-ray. Is that the version that we are able to pack in as much things as we possibly can into the Blu-ray itself? Oh yeah, there's going to be features like bloopers, behind the scenes, what? deleted scenes, no, anything that we can shove into every crevice, bit, bite, and whatever, track. That's what we're going to do. Uh, guys, be sure to tell them that the extra features might be in standard definition. Really? Well, yeah, because when we recorded stuff way back when, we weren't, you know, we're not going to upscale all that I wasn't shit. with the same camera. No, not at all. Um, and there's going to be even more stretch goals from there. Check out the awesome rewards on the side. Where's, where's the? I think they're down oh, there. Oh, down there. Okay, yeah. yeah. The, Usually people point over there, but that's wrong. It's, yeah, they're it's not there. there. It's more of an angle. Um, and, uh, you know, you're going to notice we've got more stretch goals. We've got uh, backer exclusive updates mm -hmm. that we're going to have of the cast, of crew, of any fools like us that'll get in front of a camera and talk to you lovely, lovely, wonderful people that we love and appreciate so much. From everyone at Dead Gentleman Productions, I want to thank you for a decade of The Gamer's Darkness Rising. And if you're just discovering this film for the first time, hey, welcome to the family. And if this Kickstarter campaign succeeds, we get waffles! Look out!